Hello everyone. In this video, we'll walk through a quick demo showing you how to merge multiple Excel spreadsheets into a new Excel document using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This is a really helpful file processing tool and it's super easy to use. To begin this demonstration, I'll start by clicking Create on the left-hand side and selecting the option to create an instant cloud flow. I'll be using the option to manually trigger this flow so I have better control over my data during the demonstration. From the flow diagram page, the first thing I'm going to do is quickly grab my two demo Excel files from their SharePoint folders. To do so, I'm creating a parallel process with two SharePoint get file content actions and making sure both of my demo files appear correctly. Once this step is complete, we can move on to the Cloudmersive connector action. We can now click new step and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Once we do so, a list of Cloudmersive connectors will come up below. From this list, we want to click on the Cloudmersive document conversion connector with the light green logo. If it's your first time using this connector, you'll be asked to name your connection and supply your API key before accessing the connector actions list. You can use this connector for free with a limit of 800 API calls per month by registering a free account on our website. Just so you know, once you reach that free API limit, your total will reset the following month. Now we can turn our attention to this connector's list of associated actions. From here, we can search Merge Multiple Excel and the correct option will quickly come up below. Once we click on that option, we'll end up looking at a long list of input request parameters, and that's because this action allows you to combine up to 10 Excel files at once. However, we just need a minimum of two files for this connector to work, which is how I'm choosing to demonstrate. To parse in my demo spreadsheets, I'm using the dynamic content window and selecting the SharePoint file content option for the first two input request parameters on this list. Directly after each file content input, we need to include the file name as well, so I'm just copying the information from the previous steps to make this part easy. Now that we've configured the connector action step, I'm quickly creating a create file action to generate a new spreadsheet with both sample files included. I'm jumping through this part quickly, but the important thing to know here is that you can use the dynamic content window once again to select output content from the connector action. This option contains the encoding for your merged Excel file. Now that the demonstration flow is complete, I'm saving the flow and clicking test in the upper right corner of the page. After confirming connections and eventually clicking run flow, I'm waiting a few seconds to make sure the flow runs smoothly. Once I can see that each step of the flow is complete, I'm checking my new file's destination folder to ensure it's saved where it should be. I can see that my file is in the right place, and when I open it up, it contains both datasets from my original demo Excel files. You may notice it also contains two blank worksheets, and these are just the blank worksheets included in any new Excel file that you open, and they can be removed easily using another Cloudmersive document conversion connector action. With that, our demonstration is complete, and we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please feel free to check out dozens of additional Cloudmersive connector demonstration videos on our channel.